Are you looking to create a website for your business to find new customers on the internet? Or perhaps you're part of an organization or community and would like to find people who have the same interest online. In this video, I'll share how you can create a website on your own. I'm Edward and I've created several websites for our business and online stores. I've used several platforms like Joomla, Wix, Magento, Shopify, and more. But for a business website, I prefer WordPress. WordPress is by far the most popular and used content management system. It's open source and free to install, deploy, and upgrade. It has a plugin system that makes it super flexible and with thousands of available free and premium themes and templates, it reduces the development cost and deployment time. Let's begin with the prerequisites. You must have an AWS account. If you haven't done so, go to aws.amazon.com and register for free. You must also have a WordPress theme, either free or paid. Get one from teamforest.com. When searching, make sure to check the top sellers checkbox and set rating to 4 stars and higher. In this way, you can be sure that Team Forest is giving you the best WordPress teams they have and before buying for example we select Abada check the comments to see if the author is responsive and that the features you are looking for are supported Abada has around 600k plus sales and a lot of comments this tells us that this team is matured enough for us to use now let's start creating our wordpress instance in amazon lightsail log in to your aws account and under the services menu search for lightsail and click light sale. Click create instance and under instance location click change AWS region. Let's select Ohio because Ohio has a per hour rate that is cheaper compared to other region. Under instance image select Linux under blueprint select wordpress and here click the change ssh key pair this will allow us to connect to our instance if we needed to if you haven't done so if this is your first time click create new since i have already created mine i have it listed here which is Lightsail Ohio. So I will select this one and choose your instance plan. Choose the cheapest plan for now. You can easily upgrade it later on and identify your instance. Let's say demo WP. You can either add a key or key value or just ignore them. And finally, click the Create Instance button. It will take some time until our instance is created and WordPress instantiated. After several minutes, your instance should now be in running state. The default WordPress password is generated inside the instance. To get it, we must first connect to the instance and copy the password. So in the instances tab, you should be able to see the demo WP instance that we have created. Click it 
and select or click the connect using SSH. If you get a client unauthorized error, don't worry as the instance is still instantiating. Close the terminal and try again after 2 minutes. Once the instance is successfully instantiated, you should be able to see a terminal that looks like this one. Inside the terminal, type ls and press enter. Here, you should be able to see the file bitnami application password. And to see its content, enter cat cat bitnami application password. Inside this file is our WordPress instance password. So let's copy this string and save it somewhere safe. You can delete this file later on once you have successfully logged into your instance. Now let's log into our instance by copying the public IP and entering it in a URL. HTTP the IP address and then forward slash wplogin.php this is the WordPress login URL and the default username is user enter the password and hit login and you should be able to see the WordPress admin interface now let's install the theme of your choice I will use a blog team which I have bought from Team Forest. To do so, click Appearance and Teams, and here click the Add New button, Upload Team, choose File, and select the file that you have downloaded or bought on the internet. I'll use Himalin, which is a personal blog template and then click install now if the team is successfully uploaded you should get a message to activate it hit the activate and normally a team has dependencies you don't have to worry about that because wordpress will show you what those plug plugins are and you can install them now let's begin installing the dependencies here click the check all button and under the action select install and hit apply button once you're done you can check your wordpress instance by going to the url and type the ip address without the wp login.php and now you have a running WordPress installation. Make sure to refer to your team's documentation to set up your website based on the examples. For example, if you used Avada, you can check the live preview what sort of themes you can customize. Now go to the demos section and here we have financial advisor Plumber, Avada Consultant. Now let's say that you are a virtual assistant. So let's see how this theme looks like. So here is the demo. You can immediately see the, the layout, the color, the components. So from here, you can decide if this theme is the right one for you. And you can customize, of course, the theme to look exactly like this one. Your website provides information to your customers such as frequently asked questions, your services, and cost. This saves yourself and your customers time and money.